Good morning everybody and uh, welcome to the Mad Diff Doctor's Bench. Today we're going to talk about what our Tablock upgrade is, uh, how it works and why it works. So here we have a end flange plate from our favourite locker, the Ash Locker, and these holes here bolt the crown wheel to the centre. Now if you're doing a really cheap rebuild and you want to make it really weak you would probably use one of these. Uh, this is a standard Land Rover bolt. Um, this bolt hasn't changed from about 1949. Um, it's not even a grade 8.8 .8, which in today's money is your starting grade. These are really weak. These will stretch and they will either then shear off or unwind. Quite often when you see them unwind they'll take big big chunks out of the casing creating even more swarf more damage and probably wrecking a diff bear in mind that these eels here are for oil to get into not broken bits of crown wheel bolts so for all our diffs we never ever reuse any bolts at all and we always upgrade so we get rid of that so our normal bolt that we'd fit is this one and you can see on it it has 12.9 that's the grade it has a serrated head it is a one-use bolt it is expensive um, you don't need a washer because of the flanged head and we would normally pop that in there and build a diff now the problem is if you're running big tires big horsepower uh, big heavy right foot or a combination of all of the above um, what happens with these is they will shear off and the reason they shear off is being 12.9 grade, although they're incredibly strong, these won't stretch. They either stay put or they shear. And when a 12.9 grade bolt lets go, it's going to mash your crown wheel and pinion. Now, with a lot of competition vehicles, we were seeing all 10 bolts being sheared off this. So we spoke to Dave Ashcroft Transmissions and said, we've got a little idea. Are you OK with us to do it? And he said, Yes, it's not my market, Nige, but I think it's a great idea. You do it. So we developed the tab lock. Now, the tab lock is where we CNC machine into the plate here. These very pretty patterns. Now, the logic behind this is instead of fitting a 12.9 grade bolt, we now fit a very difficult to get because of the combination of length and uh, type of thread. Uh, this is a 10.9 grade bolt, which... It's exactly the same as the 12.9 grade, which is that one. But there's a big difference. This bolt is not as strong as a 12.9, but it will stretch without shearing. Whereas this one will just plain shear. It won't stretch. And the idea came to me when I saw a lorry with a lorry indicating wheel nut sticking up. And I thought if that was steel, and that actually locked that bolt into place and you put a little boot in there then this bolt can stretch but it can't come undone and it might just survive we've done probably near on 300 tab lock conversions and we've had one failure but that failure was the entire diff letting go the crown wheel the pinion the center was split in two the gears were mashed the cross shafts mashed um, and actually only one of these broke off and it actually sheared the stud in there it was under so much tension um, it works it works really well and we do this on the ash locker um, on a lot of builds you can either have it as an upgrade because you think you're going to blow it up because you drive too hard and don't use the winch or you can have it as a piece of mine bolt and braces and it's around about a hundred pounds which when you consider there's all this cnc machining all the way around here the uh, the 10 little bolts um this is um uh, a high grade hard steel and the bolts themselves believe it or not these weird 10.9s are more expensive than those and they're bloody expensive and yes i need to clean my fingernails before i do a video but hey ho it's what i do for a living so we do this to ashcroft lockers and we also do it to Ashcroft four pins. Well, we have done for quite some time uh, for the racers because racers have a tendency to land really hard with the power on and those shear, those don't. So that, in simple terms, is our tablock conversion.
there you go there's a thing on the website if you want to really sort out insomnia explaining 12.9 and 10.9 and something called the glass bolt paradox because a glass bolt is actually stronger than a 12.9 grade bolt if you want to know why we don't use glass bolts either work it out or go and have a read of the tab lock system on our website xs4x4.com bye for now Thank you.